Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. Today I will discuss week 6 assignment 6 answers of the course programming in Java. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. I will upload all the assignment answers of this course in this channel. So for the first question, the answer will be option A. Which of the following best describes the concept of multi-threading in Java? Multiple thread executes concurrently sharing the same memory space, only one thread executes at a time. Thread in Java cannot communicate with each other. Thread requires separate memory allocation for each thread to run. Option A will be the answer, that is con uh, multiple uh, thread executes concurrently. Now, what will happen when the following code is executed? This is the code which is given. Now, the program will throw an error when attempting to start the thread a second time because to start method is there. So that's why it will give an error. It will throw an error. Find the error in the following program. So a program is given. That is the program. Now the answer will be the program will successfully run uh, but uh, will not create a new thread. Option B. What will happen when the following code is executed? This is the code. The uh, answer will be the program will execute successfully and the run method will run in, in a new thread. Option B will be the answer. Which of the following states can a thread enter during its life cycle in Java? Now new, runnable, waiting, blocked and terminated. Option B will be the answer. Question number 7. What does the thread scheduler use to decide which thread to run when multiple threads are in the runnable state? Thread priority. According to thread priority, the thread will run. Consider the following program. This is the program which is given. The answer will be option C. The order of execution depends on the JVM and operating system scheduling policies. What is the primary purpose of thread synchronization in Java? To prevent race conditions and ensure data consistency. Option C will be the answer of question number 9. Now question number 10, what is the primary difference between byte streams and character streams in Java? So byte streams are used for binary data while character streams used for text data. So if you get some help from this video then subscribe my channel. I will upload all the videos in this topic. So thank you for watching the video.